Hey everyone, welcome back to Baby Steps to Your Best Life Yet, a 21 day cleaning challenge where we are going to be building some simple cleaning habits into a daily routine designed to help you get your home clean, clear and under control in 21 days. If you're new here, be sure to check out the link in the description of the video that I've posted explaining the 21 day challenge, along with the videos that I've uploaded each day showing how I tackle each of those daily cleaning tasks. Hey guys, welcome back to today's challenge. We are at day 20, so second last day, and today is to organize or spend some time organizing your photos. So I know that digital photos can get extremely overwhelming because you literally just snap photos like crazy on your phones, and if you are not careful, they just get out of control so quickly. So one thing that I like to do is, I've shared this a couple of times and more recently in the digital declutter video that I uploaded a few days ago, I like to set up some, I like to have a system to manage my photos on a monthly basis. So that stops it from getting well and truly out of control. And I shared with that, so I'll insert a clip on how I set up the folders. And then on the first Friday of every month, I kind of do a little bit of life admin for the previous month. So you will have taken all the photos that you can take for that month. Um, and throughout the month, I usually go through and I try and get in the habit of any time that I've got downtime, like when you're waiting in the school pickup line, if ever you're waiting in a queue, anytime you've got downtime, just grab your phone and just go through and favorite your photos. Delete any duplicates. You don't need 15 photos of the same exact thing. Anything that's blurry, anything that's a duplicate, anything that is no longer relevant, just get rid of it. And then favorite all your favorite photos. Uh, and then at the end of the month or at the start of the month for the previous month, just go ahead and transfer all the photos from your phone onto um, either your computer or onto a storage drive. So I just use a now it's always attached to my computer. I have two of these. I have like a work one and a personal one. For photos, I actually back them up across two hard drives just in case. I have had hard drives fail uh, in my past life and I've lost, I did lose some photos. So from that experience, I learned to make two backups. I have the habit of saving any really, really special photos to a cloud, uh, but you can even do that just by creating like a Facebook photo album, even if it's completely private, that is not shared photo. At least if the worst happened, you would always have your, you know, your core absolute favorite photos always saved because it is cloud-based. So I like to have 
a hard drive copy, a backup of the hard drive copy in case anything happens to one of the hard drives. Uh, and then I save some favorites in cloud storage. Uh, and then you've always got the option to do either like Facebook or a private Instagram page or anything like that, where your photos can be easily saved upload it externally. Uh, that way, if anything happened to your house or your belongings, if they were destroyed in any way, you still always have those photo memories. Now, I know that you can recover usually digital files if uh, your hard drive is corrupted. Uh, and I did do that the time that my hard drive, I don't know, it just stopped working one day. It was a really old one. It was back when, maybe in 2009 or something years and years and years ago it just stopped working so i um i can't remember if i took no i think i just downloaded a program to recover all the files it recovered some of them but a lot of them they were recovered in really uh like lower quality and a lot of them had like i don't know lines across the images uh, so they were recovered but they weren't recovered in 100 percent good state so if you are thinking of Using an external hard drive, just keep that in mind. And for your really, really special, important photos, like photos when your kids are newborn or their birthdays or you get a new puppy or anything like that, anything that is really, really next level special, go and save those in a couple of multiple places. You definitely won't regret it. The other thing I also am wary of right now is you don't need to take photos of literally everything. Like I'm going through all of my old photos and I have some where I just dump anything that I take like for um, like Instagram or for the Sunday stylist. <laughs> Honestly, if I had a dollar for every food item that I have a photo of, it would be like, I'm a millionaire. And I know like on my channel, a lot of it is dedicated to food. The, the, when I first started my channel, I think the tagline was, there shall be no guilt in food, in fashion, food and living fabulously. So it was fashion, it was food and it was living fabulously. Uh, so I've got hundreds and hundreds of food photos that I'm just going through and some of them I keep and if they are if they're good enough to be used like as b-roll in my videos which I do a lot of um, I just dump them into the b-roll so I've got photos and I've got video footage that I can use rather than recreating the wheel um, but honestly you don't need to snap 45 photos of every sushi plate that you've ever eaten and I've learned the hard way because it takes time to manage your photos and the simple thing is if you don't want to spend you know all your time managing photos don't take 50 million of them in the first place. And that's something that I have become over the years better and better at. But it is so tempting when you've just got it right at your hand to just snap, 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 snap away. And the other thing is that videos and photos are huge files. So they take up so, so much time. They take up so much space digitally. And they take up so much time when you're transferring them from, you know, your camera to your computer, from your computer to the hard drive, backing up the hard drive. It all adds up. So just you know, prioritize. If you want to spend your time managing photos, fine, take heaps. But if you want to be a little bit more considered in your approach to photo taking, that would be my tip. So guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I don't really expect you guys to sit and watch me deleting and organizing and sorting through photos for 21 minutes or for two hours, however long I'm going to spend doing it. I think I'm going to actually spend a little bit longer than 21 minutes and just go through and sort out some of the older, older Sunday stylist photos because you know, there's thousands in there that I just don't even need. I'm always a little bit worried about discarding uh, videos because sometimes I've found in videos that you go through old videos, sometimes there's things that, you know, they might not have made it to a video that I published, but in the background, like I was looking through some of the old videos that I had saved from videos that I've made for YouTube. And in the background was, you know, my old dog Wookie who is no longer with us. So I just, I don't know, I'm a little bit more hesitant in deleting um, video footage, but I'm being much, much more careful about the video footage that I take and getting it sorted and saved as I take it. So I don't end up with thousands and thousands of terabytes or you know whatever of footage that just takes up space. So be considered with what you take in the first place and be consistent with how you manage it. And those are the two tips that I have that would really, really help you get on top of your photo situation. So guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever made um, like photo memory books. One of my girlfriends has said that she gets her Facebook photos automatically transferred to like a photo book making service. Um, I don't know if I would want that because one, I don't use Facebook and two, like photos that you put on social media are not always the photos that you would want to kind of keep for family memories. 
anyway um so i would like something that's really really simple uh and something that's not huge like not huge wedding size album something that's like small like I don't know, like a little photo album size, this size, like a little photo book, um, just to keep the absolute, absolute favorites. And I think maybe if you make one every year, uh, that would be well and truly more than enough for me and for most people. But anyway, if you've got any suggestions for photo books and especially ones that can be made or you can get them from Australia, obviously, uh, let me know in the comments. And that's it for today's challenge. Go forth and sort your photos and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of this 21 day challenge um it's been fun it's been a lot of hard work with all these videos to, to do and tell you what <laughs> but it's been fun it's been good a lot of my things that i've need to get sorted i've sorted or i've started sorting and i've put the processes in place to you know continue through sorting them um i will see you tomorrow for another challenge bye everyone oh my gosh so yeah oh that was riley and i making our monster milkshakes Monster milkshakes. Yum. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I cook some really delicious food. Freaking heck. Yum. Yum. Oh, that's on the menu this week. Chicken pesto pasta. Donut time. Yum. All right, that's enough for this. You might have seen it. So I have a file folder that is just for photos. And within that, I have a file folder for each year. I then have a photos template file where it's got all of the months starting with the number of the month. So 1.January, 2.February and so on. This is just so that when you sort it, it stays in chronological order rather than alphabetical order. And then by having this photos template with all the blank folders already pre-named, it just saves you from having to type them out each year. You just copy and paste the empty file folders into your new year. Then every month on the first Friday of the month, I will go through and I will dump everything from my phone and from my cameras all into the month that it corresponds to. And this is a really easy way of keeping up with photos, which just like emails can really, really get easily out of control with the number of times you just snap random photos and things on your iPhone. It can easily add up to tens of thousands of photos and they can be a big nightmare to sort through if you don't keep on top of it regularly. So I've found that this is a really, really easy way to maintain organizing your photos. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you're feeling motivated to get stuck in and give your photos a good sort out and to set up the systems moving forward that will support you keeping on top of this from this point on. Be sure to check out the description box for the video I filmed explaining the 21 day challenge, along with all the daily videos that I've filmed sharing how I have tackled each of the daily tasks. Have a fabulous day. And as always, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye everyone. Don't go